Hey guys, it's James, 317 Vapors, doing a video today on the iTaste MVP. It's variable voltage. Make sure I got that right, variable voltage. It's got a, a power hub so you can power your other devices and a huge 2600 ma battery. So stick around and we'll get some up close looks at the iTaste MVP. Alright guys, let's get into this. It's the iTaste MVP. It comes in this nice box. It's got all the details on the back. Hard plastic box. Removable cover. And the sleeve like. And this is metal. Yes, everybody says it's metal. That is metal. Here we go. This is the eye taste. I picked the silver one. Pull it out. It's got your actual unit. And under here, lift this up, kind of like the iPhone style packaging. And it's got an insert there. And you got your user manual and a quick reference guide, what have you. Shows you how to fill your. If it comes with a kit, you would have uh, your clear misers right here, but I didn't opt for the kit because I've already got everything I need. But in here, you got your a charging cable and a beauty ring. It's your Ego style thread beauty ring. It screws on top. I'll show you that here in a second. And then your actual charger. What's nice about this charger is this one takes the micro USB so if you have any Samsung products any Androids that take the micro you really don't need this charger you can use your phone charger you already got in your car I figured that out but uh it just plugs in just like that and then you've got these other as a regular USB a micro USB and then the 20 pin 30 pin the old iPhone, like the iPhone 4 charging the iPods. I don't know why Apple went to the lightning connection, but that was a bad move on their part. There's so many people mad about that. And I just switched to the Note 2, but so I don't have to worry about that. Let's get into this. As you can see, the beauty ring, there's a threaded end down here, and a not threaded in the holes. The vent holes, they go up top. That screws right on. So now it gives you somewhere to screw onto to cover your threads up. That way it make, just makes it look nicer. Because if not, if not, you got this look going on right there. So that just makes it look a little nicer. So you screw that on, you got that set. On this unit you have a three click on and a three click off. It's off right now so you can't fire it. It won't fire and the button won't press. So three click on. It'll do the little light show. You've seen that red, yellow, and green. When it's charging, it'll show green for charging. When it's done charging, the lights will go off completely. When the battery's starting to get low, it'll light up red when you hit the button. You can see when you fire, that green lights up. Well, when you hit the fire button, the yellow will light up in the middle. And when it gets close to being dead, the red will be fired, or the red will light up when it's fired. And then it'll start flashing at you. That means you need to plug it in. Now, that socket on the battery, this does have the 2600 milliamp battery. And... I've just got this, so I'm still working on the, I'll annotate the length I get out of it, but I've used it for a day, or two days, being my secondary device, and I've not had to charge it yet. But anyways, let's get into the menu. It has a mirror-like screen cover on it, and you have your voltage up, the voltage down, and this also has a puff counter. You can see right there I reset it so three puffs and then I'm set at 4.3. The 
this goes down to 3 volts, 3.3 volts up to 5 volts and it doesn't, if you hold it, it doesn't auto scroll and it doesn't round robin which I'd like to see that have a round robin and an auto scroll and I'd like to see hold both of them together and it lock the voltage in but that's not the case so it doesn't round robin either way it stays at 3.3 and it stops at 5 I like to see this go to 6 volts and I'd like to see this have an ohm meter why doesn't this have an ohm meter but I'd like to show you something else on this this right here if you can see has an on off switch and an input and an output this inputs where you charge you plug this into there this right here is an output USB so you could take a regular old USB plug it in there get it the right way like that and then take your other end to your iPad or any other device you want to charge flip this switch right here to on you can see that right there flip it to on and it will start charging your device you can see that again I'll turn it off and I'll turn it on it will charge your other devices off of this 2600 mAh battery so I just wanted to show you guys that this unit is pretty sturdy for the most part the only thing that really sticks out on the bottom is that switch right there you can see it right there sticking out a little bit so I mean it will sit down but it does rock I mean it doesn't sit perfectly flat there's a little rock to it but we'll go over a couple more specs to have the colors are silver titanium blue and black like I said the operating volts is from 3.3 to 5 volts and it doesn't round robin the battery capacity is 2600 ma so you get a decent battery life out of this unit the batteries are not replaceable it's in a sealed unit so you, I guess once the unit is done you can send it back and have a battery replaced or toss it and go get another one um, it takes about three and a half to five and a half hours to charge this unit depending on how dead it is like I said it, the threads fit CE4, CE5, Ego, Vivinova 510 style connections it does have the puff counter power source for different uh, uh, objects the three click on and off this does run as a as a pass through so if it's dead and you're charging it as long as the green lights on it will run off the battery while it's charging so you can use this as a pass through device as well it, it is short circuit and atomizer protected for the the atomizers and the battery life and it does also have over discharge protection to where it'll shut off before it over discharges itself to where you can't screw up the battery that way alright so I showed you guys everything there is on the iTaste MVP if I left anything out or you guys have any comments or questions please put them down below and I'll get back to you I appreciate all the support um, like I said I'm a new upcoming channel so give me some feedback guys let me know what you want to see what do you think would make my channel better I appreciate all the constructive criticism so just let me know what you guys would like to see reviews on if you guys have any tips about how to get into vaping anything you guys want just post them down below and I'll get back with you and don't forget to hit the subscribe button it's somewhere it's down here now but go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be kept up to date with a notification on all my upcoming videos so until then I'll see you guys on the next one